Look at this. I don't know why everyone is wearing all of these ridiculous outfits. It's because I set up a fashion trend and everyone decided to follow it. It's like everyone is wearing it. I don't know why. Even my own Sim will sometimes wear her own fashion trend. And it's annoying. So this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim series, a series where we try to achieve all of the milestones, reach top level in every career, graduate with every degree, max all of the skills, complete all of the aspirations, earn all of the reward traits, and collect all of the collections. And we're just trying to relax in the hot springs for our aspiration right now because we want to get done with the Mount Kumarabi aspiration since we're going to move out of the haunted house this week. Today is Halloween when I'm recording. I'm not sure when this episode will actually get posted. I'm a bit behind. So we're trying to finish this up real quick. We also need to visit a bar during ghost night. And I'm assuming they're wanting us to resurrect a ghost with the ambrosia that we made. But I'm not sure that we will actually do that. We'll think about it. Now, some new information on the Grimborn trait. There is some information out on what it does. And I think the only benefit is that it gives you a longer lifespan. And if that is truly the only benefit, it is not worth starting Carla over. I know it's really cool to be Grimborn and a descendant of Grim. But like I said, what we might do is have our lineage be Grimborn. And to me, that's good enough. If our first child is Grimborn, and then the rest of our lineage is Grimborn, they will all get the longer lifespan trait. Now, the first child of Grim gets the birthmark, but every single descendant of that child will get the ability to live longer. Which is nice since Carla is a super sim and will be living a long time. So her children will also live a long time. But it's also bad in the fact that we want them to grow up very fast. So hopefully it's not every life stage that lasts longer. I'm hoping it's just the adult because we, we constantly get calls that people she knows are dying. And that is kind of annoying. But I definitely will be moving her to a new save because this is the deal with that. Uh, supposedly, Grim will not have the ability to try for baby directly. And also the Grim trait will not happen unless you are in a new save. Plus, this save is really, really old, like four years old. And it's kind of glitchy. I've already had a few problems with it that I was actually able to fix. And I think that we just need to start over. So unfortunately, I think what that means is that I will be saving the lot with all of the collections and placing it into a new save and then saving Carla out to the gallery as she is and putting her in that new save. I don't know how much comes over with a new sim. I think pretty much everything should come over. I'm not sure about the, you no, know, you still need to relax in the hot spring. What are you doing? How long? Oh, the complete relaxation buff. Okay. Anyway, I'm not sure what progress will come over with her. I think she keeps all of her traits. I'm pretty sure she keeps the degrees. The milestones are a little bit questionable. I think she probably might not keep her milestones because I've had issues with that before. If she doesn't keep the milestones, that's going to be a big loss. I'm probably just going to have to start the sim over. And what I would do at that point is use Carla for the new mother and have a baby with Grim. And then try and have descendants of Grim remake all of the traits that she currently has because I'd rather have the greater wolf blood. Greater wolf blood is more important to me than having that scythe shaped birthmark. And the scythe shaped birthmark is the only benefit that you get being the direct descendant of Grim. Okay, we got that 
aspiration out of the way. Now we need to go sledding and eat food with chopsticks. Okay, the only thing is we are working on a degree right now, and, and it's a drama degree. So if she is transferred, I don't know if she'll keep her degree status. I'd rather do it in between degrees. So we might have to finish this degree first before we transfer to the new save. Okay, what food has chopsticks? Can you let me know what has chopsticks? Because I've ordered food before. Uh, maybe one of the rolls? Or onigiri? On on onigiri? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of these should have to be using chopsticks, right? Well, we'll order something and see if it works. There's also a hidden trait that you can get called Chopstick Savvy, which you have to get by eating a lot of food with chopsticks. We're just going to go down the list and no, that does not have... Yeah, it's, it's a role place. I need something that serves something other than sushi. Because apparently you don't eat sushi with chopsticks. I'll try one more time. Okay. No, you're using a fork. Why are you using a fork? You should definitely be using chopsticks for that. If you got to use a fork, you should use chopsticks. Ow, why are you not using chopsticks? Is there something I have to set so that she says, eat with chopsticks? No, there's no option. And she's eating that with her fingers. Okay. Obviously, nothing here can be eaten with chopsticks. This place isn't even open. Why aren't you open? Is it because there's no festival? It's after 7.30. Okay, you definitely don't sell anything that could be eaten with chopsticks. And that one's just a market stall. Oh goody, you look like you have chopsticks. It's on your sign. You better let me eat with chopsticks. So annoying that it doesn't default everything to chopstick when buying from a Mount Kumarabi stall. Okay, finally, she's doing chopsticks. All right, so now we need to socialize at the bathhouse. No, we're not using our computer. Stop doing that. And then make a wish on, a, on or collect a forest spirit and take it slow and become emotionally mindful. <laughs> She's not very good with the chopsticks. All right, while we're here, we should probably just order all of the food from this stand because that way I won't ever have to order from the stand again. Don't do that, just eat your food. I should sell that computer. Oh, he left. I didn't get to order the last food. Fine. Oh, the Festival of Youth has started. Okay, we're socializing at a bathhouse, but we did a rude introduction. So that means she won't like me. Okay, now we need to take a hike in order to find a forest spirit. Okay, doing this activity can actually put us in a mindful state as well. So hopefully we'll be able to tick off that while we're looking for a forest spirit. What? Why are you getting water? I thought you were hiking. That was annoying. No, why are you getting water? You're not even at the end of the hike. Come on. Fine. Get some water. Will that stop you from getting water? Sims don't have a need to drink water, but they seem to do it all the time autonomously for no reason. Every time she does that, she makes me lose where it is. No, let's just never transportalate again. Oh, we should do the meditative walk. Maybe that'll work. Oh, come on. I said transportalate. I manually said transportally and she was walking. This game does not want me to get anywhere. Okay, let's try the meditative walk because the hiking is not working. It's supposed to take you to a specific location, but it seems to be breaking at some point because I'm pretty sure I wasn't at the end of the hike. Yeah, she stops at various points and does interactions like taking a selfie or stretching or sometimes running into monsters, or not monsters, but pests. And I think maybe one of those interactions was bugging her. Yeah. Okay, this time she actually reached another sign. That's fine. Oh, she slipped in the snow. 
um, think about family member. It's like when she gets to that point, it just doesn't work for whatever reason. All right, well, maybe that's the base camp. I don't know. We'll try the walk again. Oh, she encountered some fireflies. And can I do anything with the fireflies? Doesn't look like it. Okay, it just says surprised by fireflies. So she's still on the walk. She had a peaceful encounter with the fireflies. Okay. Oh, forest spirit. And did I make my meditative walk? No. All right. Unfortunately, what you have to do is... It says collect or make a wish. So we could try collecting it because I want to collect these anyway, but we need to stop our hiking. And if you stop the hiking, she like goes all the way back to the beginning of the trail. Stop hiking, Carla. Stop hiking. You should be able to stop and interact with those. Ah, great. She's not going to stop. She's going to go on the rest of her hike. Hopefully these things don't disappear. Okay, she did get the emotionally mindful. Oh, that. Yeah, that emotionally mindful buff is really easy to get. You can get it by doing reading and painting. But yeah, it's fine. We were doing this anyway. Come on, come collect these. Milestone complete. Aspiration completed. We are a Mount Kumarabi sight sight seeker. We have worldly knowledge. Now, the next location we need to go to is San Mishuno. But I think we'll just stay in Mount Kumarabi until this week is over. So for now, we'll continue on with the romance one. And we need to embrace three times. Well, that's easy. I also forgot to age up the girls, but I don't think we're going to continue the line through them. So I'll go ahead and allow them to remain children for now. Okay, now we need to go on a romantic date. Oh, and we need to be a partner sim. Okay, so we should ask her to be our partner. Oh, no, we're already partners. We can propose. So let's go on a romantic date. And we'll just stay here. Okay, this is going to be really hard. We have to both be playful at the same time and then flirty at the same time. So maybe I have some playful stuff around here. Okay, I am not in a playful mood because I am too much in a confident mood. Well, this is going to be difficult to do okay i have to get my funny thing back and let's see we have to tell jokes and maybe put this in here okay we talked 10 times but now we both need to be in a playful mood oh come on i have so many playful buffs barely four i need one more playful buff to overcome my confidence or I need this confidence to run out and then becoming flirty at the same time is going to be a little bit difficult maybe I can drink a flirty celeb serum oh come on my bubbles wore off really why is all this stuff wearing off I might get her too playful she might die that would be bad. Okay, now I'm down to just the two buff. I need to touch someone who isn't a partner, which is unfortunate. Maybe I'll give the butler a hug. That's a friendly interaction. Because that will get rid of my ridiculous confidence. And then I'll probably immediately go hysterical. But that's fine. Come on, go hug him. I need to get rid of that no touching quirk. Okay, now I'm focused. Why? Okay, she's still playful. If I go into the room with the playful thing, can I be playful? All right, stop talking to him. I know you're mad. I'm not even a little bit playful. Why am I buffs wearing off so quickly? They're like wearing off super quickly. Is it because I'm going to be hysterical if I become playful? Seven hours focused. Seven hours. 
Okay, let's tell some more jokes. Okay, finally. All right, we can stop doing that. Now, if we can get flirty. Oh, we can do deep conversations first. All right, we can do that first so that we don't have to worry about this being overwhelming. Oh, the date is almost over. I am not going to get gold on this date. And now I'm hysterical. Well, don't make any jokes. Let's drink the flirty celebusarum. Almost. Almost. Now we need to be flirty at the same time. Well, we'll beguile her. Which I don't know if it will help or not. It did not. And... Then we... Oh, is there a very suggestive... We are flirty. Okay. What if we just do a passionate kiss? Will that work? Oh. Flirt with your date while flirty. Okay. We, I think we just got it. Just in time. Okay. And then we can woohoo here somewhere. Oh, are we going to have to go to school soon? Oh, yes. We have to go to school at 8 a.m. So we might not be able to finish this woohoo. Because she's not set to transport a late anymore. Okay. Well, we didn't. All right. That's fine. We'll do the woohoo later. Let's turn on transportalating again before I forget. Oh, we need to get gold on a romantic date. Really? That date didn't even count. I was wondering about that, if I should do a regular date or the other date. But of course, it has to be the new kind of date, not the old kind of date. All right. Well, almost time to go to school. Oh, no, wait. We have to have one of the kids stay home. Because we're on a scare seeker lot trait. All right, Isis, why don't you skip school or at least take a vacation? Just take a vacation. No, don't do push ups. Go inside. She almost got killed. A meteor was heading right for her, and she was outside doing push ups. Really? Isis? She almost died. Apparently, kids can die from meteors. The butler's room. That's the place where you chose to woohoo. No, let's go in the next room. Let's not use the butler's room. Oh, someone just happened to be in the neighborhood. And he decided to drop in and say hello. Hi. I'm currently busy right now. I will be right with you. Yeah, currently busy. <laughs> okay, so we're romantic partners with on? Andrew now. <laughs> and maybe we should go out on a romantic date with Andrew. Uh -oh. Okay, romantic date. What are we going to do? Romantic, friendly, physical intimacy, woohoo. <laughs> because that's what we need to do. Oh, I thought this was Mount Kumarabi. It is. It is Mount Kumarabi. Oh, well. This bar does not look familiar. Did I change the bar? Or is this always like this? I don't think I've ever been here. Okay, first off the bat, it asks us to woohoo. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we can do that. It's bear night at the bar. And of course, our romantic partners all show up at the same time. And we're going to woohoo outside of a bar on a blanket. Yeah, that doesn't seem really realistic, but that's what we can do now. Or at least we could. Maybe it's because people are stepping on the blanket. All right, there we go. Come on. This is part of the aspiration. Oh, I probably shouldn't have set it down right where people walk in. This is the spawn point. I did not think about that. Okay. Are you going to do it or not? Sit on the blanket. Oh, it's not going to work. Okay. All right. Is it going to work this time? I don't know what it is with Woohoo, but I have the hardest time getting Sims to do the deed. <laughs> okay. It was because they were at the spawn point. I'll forgive you for that one. No, they won't do it. All right, well, what about the dumpster? 
All right, the dumpster works. Not as romantic as the blanket, but it works. And why is this guy watching and cheering on? That's kind of... Yeah, don't like that. Go away. Now everyone's back here cleaning the paparazzi. Oh, it's just, it makes it so much worse when you're famous because people follow you around. And it's not because you're woohooing. It's because you're famous. It wants us to woohoo again? Really? I'm not sure if someone who made the sim realized, but Andrew has a feminine voice. Maybe they did that on purpose. Maybe not. Okay, maybe we should change locations. That is a date action, right? Oh, that automatically extends the date? I thought maybe that it didn't. Okay, is there a place over here to woohoo? Going to add a little bush in front of everyone again. Well, this is how it goes. I thought the park would be a little bit more private, but nope. Okay, we got gold on this date. Honestly, it's only silver. Why does it say we got gold? All right, well, anyway... Okay, now it's a gold date. Now we can end the date cheerfully while we're facing the other way, though. <laughs> it's just weird when Sims talk like this. Okay. Now we need to perform 25 romantic socials. So let's just flirt a bunch. Okay, and we got that romantic aspiration out of the way. So now we're a seasoned romantic. Okay, so all of the love aspirations are now completed. And on to nature, where we get to fish. Okay. Uh, that one's kind of boring, but hey, that's what we have to do. Okay, I don't want treasure. I want actual fish. Oh, I caught an angelfish. What? <laughs> I caught an angelfish. That was the first fish I caught. All right. Well, it's in the center of this Oasis Springs Park. If anybody uh, wants to know where the angelfish are biting. All right. What time is school? At 11 a.m. Okay. So we still have some time. We don't go right at 8 a.m. It's at 11 a.m. Okay. Now we have to fish for 10 hours and mount or bowl five fish. I like bowling them because mounting them makes them non-sellable uh, things that I don't like. So <laughs> we'll put them in a bowl. I don't know if I really want to fish for five hours though. Yeah, everyone's sending me congratulations on dating the Grim Reaper and I didn't. I became a romantic partner of Andrew. I didn't date the Grim Reaper. So whenever I go into a new relationship, everyone assumes Grim Reaper is the one that I am most recently. Oh, relationship fears, fear of being cheated, cheated on. Um, Carla, you are the cheater. Isn't that always the way, though? Oh, she had an affair. It counts if we are just romantic partners, too. She keeps getting these had an affair milestones. Despite not being married, she's divorced. Oh, this save is so messed up. Okay, we're here in Forgotten Grotto, and this is going to be seven hours of me fast forwarding. So, see you in a bit. Okay, there we go. Now we need to catch five fish using bait and make six great catches. So maybe we'll angle for big catch or fish with bait. Fish with bait first. Yeah, the fishing with bait is getting us great catches anyway. So that's good. All right. And that is that level. Actually, that's the entire aspiration. Well, we are now an angling ace. Next, the curator. We need to breed frogs. Oh, this is going to take a while because unfortunately there's a cooldown on that. All right. Well, let's get all the collectibles from in here. Okay. And we can start breeding frogs. Okay. While we're waiting for the frog breeding cooldown, maybe we'll do the crystal crafter. 
Actually, we'll just stick with a curator. And what I'll do is while I'm waiting for this to cool down, we'll work on our career. This time, Ariel gets to stay home. Okay, now we're an artist level four. Okay, we are on the last day of the term. And speaking of the last day of the term, final grades. We got A plus and everything. Okay, we have to sign up for another term. This should be the last one for this degree. And we are also level five of the freelance artist career. Okay, I bred a frog. Thank you. It takes a little while to give you credit, and that sometimes makes me nervous that I'm not going to get the credit. Oh, look, it's Father Winter! Although, this is a Father Winter I don't think we know. Do we know you? No. Ah, oh, crud! It's Thursday! <laughs> I did not visit the bar. Rats! Maybe if I go really quick? I doubt it. No. Okay. It is technically still Ghost Night at the bar. <laughs> but unfortunately, I am too late. I did finish my... Okay, I got the completed collection for free, but I did finish the next step of the curator. Now I need to collect 25 collectibles. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> What you can do for this, though, is to take all of your collectibles out of your inventory and just put them back in. So if you've already done something like this, then it's not too bad because they let you kind of cheat for it. Now I do try not to put the same collectible back in my inventory because that is technically cheating. Apparently death flowers don't count as collectibles. That's fine. Okay, it's no longer counting for some reason. I don't know. Oh, that one counted. Some of them count and some of them don't. And I don't know what makes the difference. Okay, some of these are not claimed. And some of them don't allow me to put them in the, in my inventory. Probably because I don't technically own them for some reason. That's probably why some of them aren't counting. There we go. Okay, aspiration achieved. We are now a curator. And of course, we're going to skip the Jungle Explorer because that requires going to Selva Dorada. And we'll do the Crystal Crafter. Okay, we have class at 9.30. So we'll work on our project until 9.30. And then who is staying home? Isis is staying home again. Well, that cow plant did not last very long. I was just coming out here to feed you. I'm sorry. Happy birthday, Ariel. Now it is actually their birthday, so Ariel's going to be cheerful. And let's give her... Oh, I don't know. A collector one. The curator, maybe. Happy birthday, Isis. And for Isis, uh, I guess maybe we'll give her hot-headed and a deviant's aspiration. Yeah, I know I'm making a lot of Carla's children evil deviants, but it just fits because they're Grimm's kids. Okay, here are Carla's eyes. Okay, I think maybe Isis got Carla's face or a little bit of Carla's face and maybe Grimm's face so you can try and see what Grimm might look like because look at those eyes those eyes are something those are some bug eyes <laughs> and then Ariel didn't get those eyes she got more of Carla's eyes and her nose is different so they are definitely not identical twins Okay, so for outfits, we have Ariel's everyday, her formal, athletic, sleep, party, swimwear, hot weather, cold weather. And then for Isis, everyday, formal, athletic, sleep, 
party, swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. Okay, this is another save file I have, and I was hoping that visiting the bar during Ghost Night would count on this save. It's not ticking it off. Why is it not ticking it off? I am here. Maybe if I order something. Okay, what a party. Everyone will be talking about that for months. Okay, <laughs> is it too early to throw another party? Oh, that's all I had to do. I get a want refresher, a death flower, and a retraining potion. Okay, I just... It just bothered me that that wasn't completed. So back to Carla. Okay, we got another job. So we need to study design documents, create environment concept on Sketchpad, and get environment concept approved. And then we have class at 11 and class at 3 p.m. Okay, we're now level six at the freelance artist career. And that's level seven. This whole time, I thought this was a haunted house. I did select to turn it into a haunted house. I was wondering why the ghosts weren't showing up. Yeah, it was residential. Well, today is Halloween. We have to have a haunted house. When you download a lot from the gallery and you select to make it what it is on the gallery, sometimes the game says, nah, Nah, I'm going to keep it as whatever lot it was before. So this was originally a residential lot. And when I downloaded it, I know I selected turn it into a haunted house like what it is on the gallery. And of course, it didn't do that. Okay, so now we are level eight of the freelance artist career. We just need two more levels, but it is Saturday. We'll probably run out of time. Okay, we are level 9, but I think we can do most of our stuff at the Benchwick Fair. We just have to be careful what job we pick. So, what is the Benchwick Fair this week? Llama and wool. Okay, Agnes, what do you have today? We're just going to buy some regular old white wool and enter that into the competition. It's normal and common, so hopefully we just get a participation ribbon. Oh, wow, there's not that many gigs. I know I did a few, but <laughs> it's like all the gigs are gone. All right, well, we'll do this one, I think. Art dealer, and no, let's just do the portrait one, because I know that one won't require me to leave the lot. Okay, we're level 10 of the freelance artist career. It is 727 and New Year's Eve. So what are we going to use for our resolution? Raise a skill as always. Okay, she keeps trying to talk to Hayden for some reason. <laughs> and I don't get it. <laughs> and he's trying to impress us with his video game prowess. I guess we're okay with that. Since we got to top level the freelance writer career, I'm just waiting for the Finchwick Fair to be over. And then maybe we'll stay and watch New Year's Eve TV. Oh, we got the participation ribbon. That's good. All right. It looks like everybody's gathering up here for the countdown. All right. We'll try to watch the countdown. I think there might be too many people in this room. And they're all wearing that outfit except for a couple of them. Well, half are and half aren't. Okay. That's still pretty bad. And here comes another one. All right. Yeah, we really have to start the save file over. I am not going to put that outfit as a trend anymore. That was just really unfortunate. I didn't know that the game would do that. So... I do have memberships available. They are 99 cents for US currency. All the other currencies, I'm not sure how much it will be. It'll be in your local currency. And you can watch unedited versions of the series. And if that's not interesting, then you could also vote in the members poll. So if you do have a free membership, make sure you vote in the members poll because that will count for next season for episodes. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.